Who is being oxidized and who is being reduced? Students hate redox reactions. I know, but I got you. Redox, we're talking about reduction and oxidation. It's named that way because the reactions happen together, simultaneously, kind of like the exchange of money, okay? You don't go out into the world and just throw money on the street for no reason. Actually, if you do, I'll follow you around. The idea is that you exchange money. When you give money to someone else, they accept it. That exchange happens at the same time. Redox is the same way. As one molecule is being reduced, another molecule is being oxidized. That's how we don't violate the laws of thermodynamics. Those are rules you don't want to break. Redox is everywhere, okay? For you to be like alive and to do things like dancing, that's redox. Plants doing photosynthesis, that's redox. Burning of fuels, redox. Batteries, redox, everywhere. Now you probably learned that oxidation is the loss of electrons, and reduction is the gain of electrons. And that's true. But here's the problem, especially for biology students. Look at this equation, the equation for cellular respiration. Now you tell me, where are the electrons moving? Can you tell? Do you see electrons anywhere? Because I don't. So here's a different way to think about it. Reduction is going to be the gain of hydrogens and or the loss of oxygen, and oxidation is going to be the gain of oxygen and or the loss of hydrogen. Now that we can see in this equation. So let's look at glucose. Glucose to CO2, what's happening there? The number of atoms we've got here, oxygen is going from six to 12, so it's gaining. Hydrogen, we're losing 12 to zero. So glucose is being oxidized. What about oxygen gas to water? Oxygen is going from 12 atoms to six. Hydrogen is going from zero to 12. So oxygen is being reduced. Now, if you wanna learn more, click the related video and I'll take you through all the different oxidation states of carbon. I'll see you there.